follow us on social networking sites facebook linux arcade is the page linkedin so ravi kumar is the profile name google place you can just enter red art enterprise linux step by step guide twitter at the rate a ravi kumar 48 website you can visit arcade.co.in please subscribe to the channel thank you hi friends my name is Ravi in this tutorial we are going to see about BC command or uh, BC language I say so like um, it's a name language which you can write the script as well using the BC okay which is called as an a attributary precision calculator language arbitrary arbitrary precision calculator language which means that we can write directly a script like which means that you can directly write the calculations into the BC okay in form of scripting how we will write the bash scripting the same way you can also write the scripts or you can also execute the BC command to calculate the complex tasks okay okay complex uh, mathematical things how you can do that okay so bc command okay let's say bc command r uh, bc is a language that supports illogical precision numbers with interactive execution of statements like, which means that you can execute interactively the whatever the statements you wanted to okay you just uh, provide the statement it give you the result okay just type the statement okay so in this program if you want to comment any uh, like you wanted to write some notes on the go okay what it will do is that it will just um, slash star okay is the starting of the commenting and ending of the commenting is star star slash okay you can do like that okay numbers are stored in simple variables and arrays which means that the numbers whatever the numbers you are just uh, giving so it will be stored in a simple variables and numbers okay variables okay in this there is an caution saying that variables must be in a lower case because if you write upper cases which upper cases will stay is as a numbers like these bc commands will accept the numbers from 0 to 9 and a to f which means hexadecimal numbers okay a to f in the sense a is a 10 b is an 11 c is an a 12 like that so up to 16 numbers it, it, it accepts that's why the variable characters the cases whatever you give it's in a small case must okay the next one is the options okay so bc if you provide bc f and h will give you the helping command okay and if you type if an l okay it's an interactive mode if you type an i okay which means that standard mathematical library okay i is an interactive and l is for an a mathematical library w okay so whenever you open the uh, BC command which says that um, the format saying that this program is so and so like uh, it ships with no warranty something like that okay so that you can it will print if you type S B C F and yes okay this is a standard BC language okay which accept the standard BC language okay and uh, Q for quiet and in the sense don't print welcome message okay it does not print any warning or welcome message w will print but q will not print anything okay you can type v so it will provide the bc version what is the version you are using okay here some operators i am going to explain you okay so plus plus is an increment value by one which means that if you wanted to improve values from one two three four something like that you can just add where okay plus plus so it will increment the value okay so plus plus variable which means that which already um, what it will do is that 
which can say that post increment result of the variable is used first and then variable is incremented okay it's do like that so next one is the name decrement operator so from if you wanted to do from 10 to 1 1 by 1 decrease you can also use where i minus minus okay it's a decrement value by 1 by 1 so minus minus is a variable so which is used to post to decrement which means that result of the variable is used first then variable is decremented that is the statement of if and i where next one is uh, comparison operators so this comparison op operators does not print any value it print only the 0 and 1 if the statement is true it prints 0 if the statement is false it prints 1 okay this is called an a less than expression 1 and expression 2 less than so if it is expression 1 is less than 2 okay it prints 0 in the sense the statement is true it prints 0 if statement is false it prints 1 okay in the same way in the less than or equal to okay if it is equal to or less than then it prints the 0 if it is not equal to or if it is not less than then it prints 1 okay strictly greater than it's greater than value okay so it, if it is greater than then it prints 0 if it is not greater than it prints 1 okay greater than or equal to okay equal to if the value is equal to the expression 1 and expression 2 then it prints 0 if it is not then it prints 1 it is not equal to not equal to in the sense if the value expression 1 and expression 2 is not equal to then it prints 0 if it is equal to then it prints 1 okay so logical operators logical operators is the and operator r operator and not operator operator both the expressions are non zero the first one is uh, if expression 1 is true then expression 2 will execute in the sense the expression 1 and expression 2 is both are non zero values which means that both are true then its statement will be executed okay expression 1 is in this r operation what happens here is that expression 1 is 0 then expression 2 will be executed if expression 2 is 0 then expression 1 will be executed in the sense neither of the expressions okay is non zero if both are zeros then the statement will be zero okay not expression not in the sense not operator okay which is not equal to or which is not something like that okay let's see something practical here okay so how we are going to do this okay so the bc can be executed something like this okay either way like you can also go to bc command and type the values like this whatever the value you want okay 5 minus 10 is 5 okay or 5 plus 10 is 15 okay 5 into 6 is 30 okay 5 divided by 30 is something like 0 okay or 5 equal to 31 is what 0 or 5 reminder 30 okay the value is 5 like that you can execute you can ex exit from the program using quit okay here you can execute any complex things okay which is straightforward statement which means that you no need to um, uh, write any scripts or anything like that okay you can just execute like this and it will give you the operations okay let's example say you wanted to uh, execute something okay like uh, convert some decimal to binary numbers okay you can say simply that um, i want o base o base which means that the value will be converted and if you give semicolon which will do a new line calculation okay enter the value will be 11 like this okay which means that the decimal number will be converted into binary or 
the decimal can be converted also into the octal using the i base i base equal to so what is the number you wanted to convert the example say something like this r triple one r something like this then the value will be calculated okay you can quit from the command so oh, this is about the command you can simply whatever the you want the power of the okay mm, to the power of something value you can also do that you can also use scaling scaling in the sense how many digits like um, after dot how many values you want scale one two three four five something like that so it give you a exact values okay whenever you are calculating but if you want to write in the script okay so what you have to write let's say that here is an some example i have written here already the program okay so example you have to write the shebang like this okay slash usr bin slash bc so this will be came from you can use where is bc where is bc then it will provide you the actual where it is located okay where is bc now where is bc which is located here it is that slash usr bin bc the program is located here you can use quiet mode which means that do not print any warning messages while executing the program and which will execute the interactive program interactive program so ql is an a quite interactive program will be executed so sum of the values and minus the values multiplied by reminder okay power of the values divided by so here extra delimitation values also accepted like a plus b which means that 10 plus 11 is 21 okay like that so how to execute that that slash the command will be like this enter so the values will be executed here you can see that sum of 5 plus 6 equal to 11 okay the multiplied value are the minus value okay let's say we will add some um, the program modification here little bit okay after something here okay which will we are going to add some colon colon values okay so it will be replaced with colon something like this okay oh because it's going to be a clear for us okay now i am just going to execute this one okay which is sum of value is 5 plus 6 equal to 11 5 minus 6 equal to minus 1 okay min 1 okay multiplied by 5 into 30 5 into 6 equal to 30 okay remainder value of 5 6 0 0 0 0 this one okay and 2 5 to the power of so what is the value here okay divided by okay how much value will you will get it okay hexadecimal value a plus b equal to 21 okay a minus this is the values which we are going to get in the program okay so what you can do here is that so that values here what i am doing is that so i am going to sum i am minus multiplied by remainder and the power of the divided by all the things you can use in the bc language or bc scripting which is shebang would be used as like this okay so you can also execute some for loops or the if conditions okay so i'm just written some for loop here so what is the printing the increment values okay the increment values will be printed from 1 to 99 okay just execute the for loop like this so it will be executed 1 to 99 so every script whenever you are writing you should compulsory write the quit here or else if the command prompt will not go from here so it does not quit automatically what you have to do you have to write the quit here okay in all the 
this bc scripting you just write the quit here so that it will automatically quit or else it does not quit so what it say it stay in that loop itself okay let's see the example here what i'm doing is that i'm just commenting this line here and i'm executing this for loop okay if i execute so my command prompt is not came back so still stuck with the bc so you have to press again interruption of control d or control c so it will come back from the interrupting the bc command okay instead of that what you can do is that you just write the quit okay after executing the program which automatically come back from the quit here okay like this you can use the for loop or you can also use the um, if condition here so this is the if condition I written so the a value is 9 if a value is greater than 10 then it should print the value less than value or greater than value if it is greater than or if it is less than it, it should print the value so if condition so what is a is less than 10 which means that the 10 value is greater than 9 okay so if condition and what i'm going to do is that here i'm just going to modify the value of a so if it is less than no it's greater than okay a is greater than 10 which means that the value of a is 90 like that you can also write the scripting here in the bc command so there are so many things you can execute it or you can also pass directly using the echo command something like this to the bc it will also print something like this echo okay what i'm doing here is that echo i just wanted to print something like 10 plus 20 what is the value b to pass to the bc which will print the value here you can also use like this example r uh, into okay our power of values or reminder value okay you can also use so many things here so there are so many values like this okay you can use okay in this bc you can use if conditions or for loop or while loop okay okay there are so many things you can use break continue return okay so many options are there in the bc so this how the bc command can be used to calculate complex things you can also use a um, like what are the values like expert exponential functions or so many things okay or natural algorithms you can also use okay and operator okay let's see that okay i wanted to see some and operator something like that okay the value is one and and one okay i'm just pointing to bc here what is the value now one. okay both the values are true then it is printed like this okay if you are using r values okay both the values are zero and print zero if one is one it prints one okay if it is one and zero then if it is and it prints only because both the statements are not true like this you can use the expressions and print the values something like this okay you can also print the our expressions are language illogical precision language thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel thank you